Hello, uh, Gary Sleeman from the Vintage Motorcycle Club. Just a quick uh, tour around our stand at the uh, Bath and West Showground. This bike's a nicely restored uh, Suzuki GT 550. A uh, gentleman said he'd restored it to ride, but uh, it really is nice all the same. Um, and there's been a lot of interest in this one. Next, we've got a, a Motor Guzzi, quite a rare bike. Um, these are becoming very popular these days. I think with the older riders, uh, people are looking for smaller bikes. Uh, this is a 125 Stun LO, not quite 100% uh, um, original, but uh, very nice little bike. Very, very light, which is appreciated when, you, when you've got to move them around. This one is, has attracted a lot of good attention. It really is a nice, nice piece of restoration. Really done nicely. It's worth having a close look round because the, the, the attention to detail sets this apart. Every last little screw nut, bolt and washer on it really is, is restored to an excellent standard. <coughs> I'll recognize this bike. It belongs to a friend of mine. Uh, rode with him on a, an event quite a few years ago now it's a very tidy little bike it's it's had a lot of work done since then it really does look a treat and it's a, an excellent bike for for riding our events because it's quite compact very light but also quite nippy this bike um, is a humber it's a, a very unusual configuration being a four and a half twin more, uh, they're synonymous with Douglas really but uh, this one was actually built by Douglas for Humber and uh, Humber is a name that you'd uh, more associated with cars but in, uh, in the sort of 1910 1920 era they did uh, get into motorbikes and produced quite a variety of different things right, the, the next one we have is, uh, has confused a lot of people um, it's a, it says BSA on the petrol tank, uh, and it is, a, it is a BSA rolling chassis, but uh, the engine in it is a Jower Speedway engine. It's, quite a, uh, it's achieved quite a lot of success. The, the engine came from Dave's brother, who was a very successful Speedway rider. So it's, it's already had one life, and it's now coming back again as uh, in the, this very interesting special uh, we had this on our stand a, a little while ago at another show and a number of people who came up and said oh that's a nice BSA gold star and then took a second look and oh really it's not at all when it's actually a Jower Speedway engine right, th this is a, another very rare motorcycle it's a ja dark jack V-twin um, I doubt you'll see many of those about at all. I guess there was only very few of them made and even fewer have survived. But this is a nice, nicely um, weathered in version. It's, it's obviously been used a bit since it was restored, but altogether a very nice bike there. Very, very pleased to have it on our stand. Um, although this is a vintage motorcycle club stand, we have actually got a brand new bike on the stand. This is a Royal Enfield Interceptor and it's the club's uh, raffle bike. Uh, we're sell it's the first day we're selling tickets for, for this one at the show, but it's on sale right through till it's drawn in July at our Th Festival of Thousand Bikes at Mallory Park. Right, um, now we've got a lovely little AJS. Um, it's actually a 250 and it, although it it um, looks very similar to the 350. It's almost scaled down. It's quite a tiny little bike. Um, uh, talking to the owner, it's not particularly fast, but it's a very tidy little bike. And it's ideal for riding on the quiet lanes that we use for most of our runs. <coughs> then next to that, we've got a Velocet Venom. It, a Viper, sorry. This is actually uh, one of the very first ones made. It's a very early one. And again, a nice, tidy, usable bike. And it is used by the owner for, for uh, uh, riding our events. And it's noticeable it's got indicators on. So it's a, subtly modified to make it more practical for modern day traffic. 
In the next next to that, we've got a 750 Honda um, great Phil Reed replica. It's uh, essentially a Honda 750 F1, but it was restyled by Colin Seeley um, with a tank fairing arrangement to make it a tribute to the win by Phil Reed at the TT. This is quite an interesting little bike. These MZs, Eastern European manufactured, very tough little bikes, built really as a, as a commuter bike, but uh, for an obscure reason, a, a group of people got together and decided to create a race series around them. I think probably because at the time you could buy them for very little money indeed. And this, this particular bike, has been very successful in that class. It's actually won its um, held the track record for its for its category for a number of years, and it's still being used for, for racing from time to time at the moment. And then uh, the last one we've, we're looking at today is a Norton Mercury. This was pretty much the last of the Norton twins with a feather bed frame, which was pretty well legendary. For, for handling. Um, at the time, this would have mani was manufactured, it overlapped the production of the, of the new Norton Commando that came out. But the Norton um, had a what was called an ice elastic frame, and at the time, so, sort of the, the more um, die hard enthusiasts were unconvinced that it was the way to go. and. So Norton carried on making their old version of the twin with a feather bed frame for a, no, for a few years uh, and catered for, the, for that market where people just weren't happy with uh, having a rubber band <laughs> or ru rubber block frame that uh, were convinced that it would, would, wouldn't handle as well. I hope you've enjoyed our little walk round the stand today. Uh, we are the Vintage Motorcycle Club. You can find out more about us on our website, vmcc.net. And if you navigate into that website, you can find out about our, all the services that the club can provide. We, ha we have an extensive library at Allen House in Burton-on-Trent, where we have a team there working who can answer your queries. Um, we, very experienced in uh, registration of vehicles, working with the DVLA. Uh, we organise events all through the year in different places. We have 85 sections around the country, We're bound to be one near to you, who organise social events and riding events as well. Um, thank you very much for listening. <laughs>